Guess what, everyone? The Nintendo Switch has been out for a year and a half. In that short time, dozens of awesome games have hit Nintendo's hybrid console, so we thought we'd pick our 25 favorite. Let's go! Blossom Tales has no shame in how much it borrows from The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past, and that's in no way a bad thing. It may be a short game, but the moment-to-moment -moment gameplay brings a ton of nostalgia while new challenges continually pop up along the way. Kirby Star Allies proves that some adventures are much more fun with friends. Frantic four-player fun and countless ally combinations add to Kirby's already charming antics. It's a nearly perfect package that only gets better when using stylish team attacks to destroy everything in your path. Super Mario Party is the best party in two console generations. It's done away with some, but not all, of the slowness, and you get to play a ton of great minigames with the cool, but not perfect, Switch controllers. Super Mario Party is competitive, strategic, and above all, a lot of fun. A perfect marriage of two excellent and timeless puzzle games, Puyo Puyo Tetris is a feature-packed collection worthy of being installed on every Switch. Back in 1989, no Game Boy was complete without Tetris, and that same sentiment stands today with Nintendo's modern handheld. Into the Breach distills turn-based strategy games down to their purest essence. Its bite-sized fights are like little puzzles, but your tools to solve them are the strategies to figure out along the way. Different combinations of enemies, allies, and upgrades will keep it fresh for a long time to come. Some folks say that there are too many Wii U ports coming to Switch. Those people have never played Captain Toad's Treasure Tracker. This phenomenal spin-off is charming, challenging, and downright cute on any platform, anytime. I mean, look at his little vest. Minecraft is without a doubt one of the most accessible exploration and adventure games, period, still feeling fresh years after its initial launch. Its Switch version is particularly exciting in that it can be played cross-platform with PC, mobile, and even Xbox One players, making it the best way to play it on the go. Hollow Knight can be incredibly demanding, but you get way more back than what you put into it. The expertly crafted Metroidvania map that is the Kingdom of Hollow Nest has an absurd amount of paths to explore, bosses to fight, and secrets to uncover. That's all drawn in a somber but expressive art style that gives the adorable bug people who live their lives and stories of their own. Night in the Woods is a shining example of interactive writing. Every character's struggles and shortcomings feel familiar and painfully real. Coupled with a bold, striking art style and a somber look at the state of the world today, Night in the Woods is a must-play on Switch. Shovel Knight is easily one of the best platformers of the last decade. For four years and counting, Yacht Club has put special care into making every pixel of Shovel Knight into a perfect tribute to classic games, and every new expansion manages to bring new and exciting mechanics that keep things interesting. Overcooked 2 takes the simple premise of preparing a meal with a friend or loved one and flips it on its head by dialing the insanity up to 10 and forcing you to work together in chaotic kitchens that might just tear your relationship apart. You'll battle kitchen fires, conveyor belts, and even wild animals in a frantic race to cook together across a variety of dynamic stages. Octopath Traveler doesn't try to reinvent the wheel for classic JRPGs. Instead, it fine-tunes the genre's winning elements to create a fun, beautiful, and often challenging title that hits all the right nostalgic notes. Octopath's strength is its deep and dynamic combat system and its unique way of layering together multiple stories, even if they never quite come together the way you'd think. When we first saw Skyrim running on a portable system, on a plane no less, none of us actually believed it could be done. You can't cram that many side quests onto a single cartridge, we shouted. Turns out, we were wrong. Skyrim on Switch is every bit as sprawling and epic as it is everywhere else. Plus, you can cosplay as Link and Link rules. Fortnite airdrops 100 players onto a giant, chaotic battlefield where you'll smack each other with cartoon hammers, drive golf courts, shoot rockets, and build forts, of course. As the map shrinks, your survival chances grow until one player is the last one standing. It's addictive, incredibly fun, and totally free to play. Until you decide to spend a bunch of V-Bucks on backpacks and goofy costumes, that is. The Nintendo Switch makes it possible to get the best of both worlds with Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. You can play using a comfortable Pro Controller, but you can also slay its more than 100 monsters in person with friends. On top of the ridiculous amount of content packed in, you can also play as an adorable cat and pet alpacas.
Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is a standout RPG that manages to keep its story, combat, and exploration interesting over the course of at least 70 hours of adventure through an impressively varied and rich world. Simply put, this is an excellent game full of tough, memorable battles and a positive message. Stardew Valley is a wonderfully open-ended farming sim. You'll forge your own country path with fishing, fighting, farming, and falling in love. Additionally, being able to take advantage of the Switch's sleep mode helps take some of the pressure off of not being able to save in the middle of a day, even if a few other bugs in the port are still waiting to be squashed here. Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle faced no shortage of skepticism before its launch, but Ubisoft Milan's robust strategy game proved itself with some truly challenging levels and accessible but complex turn-based gameplay. It also found a way of marrying the Rabbids and Mushroom Kingdom senses of humor into one charming experience. Dead Cells fuses breakneck motion with an emphasis on risk and reward for an incredibly engaging action platformer. Each easily digestible run through its beautifully detailed and shifting levels goads you to push the limits of your ability and crushes you when you get too comfortable. It's easily one of the very best action platformers on the Switch. Celeste is a surprise masterpiece. Its 2D platforming is some of the best and toughest since Super Meat Boy, with levels that are as challenging to figure out as they are satisfying to complete. But the greatest triumph of Celeste is that its best-in-class jumping and dashing is blended beautifully with an important and sincere story and an incredible soundtrack that make it a genuinely emotional game, even when your feet are planted firmly on the ground. SteamWorld Dig 2 is a textbook example of everything a sequel should be. Bigger, smarter, and just straight up more fun. Guiding Dorothy through labyrinthine caverns searching for loot and upgrades is a challenging and charming twist on the classic Metroidvania style and has a gameplay loop that will undoubtedly keep you up into the wee hours of the morning for just one more run. Splatoon 2 is one of those rare games you can play for more than a year and still not be tired of it. Many players hoped for a fast port to switch to hit the ground running, but what we got was an impressive sequel with an all-new single-player campaign and plenty of incredible and free post-release content. Mario Kart 8's Encore on Nintendo Switch didn't just keep the online community alive and add returning favorites like Balloon Battle and bob on blast We also got a brand new Cops and Robbers style team mode with Renegade Roundup, all of the great downloadable stages, and even some guests from the Splatoon universe. It's not a new game, but one so good it deserved to reach a bigger audience on Switch. A masterclass in 3D platforming, Super Mario Odyssey seamlessly blends the best elements from nearly every Mario game with an entire portfolio of new gameplay mechanics to create something both nostalgic and courageous. New players will adore stomping through the vivid and vast new worlds, while seasoned veterans will stick around after the credits to unlock the hundreds of challenges that await their skill and dexterity. To put it succinctly, Super Mario Odyssey is pure, sublime joy and one of the best Super Mario games ever made. Let's face it, the Zelda series was long overdue for a major change, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild offers an unparalleled sense of freedom and scale in the palm of your hand. It tells an epic story as you glide, cook, and battle your way across a beautifully ruined version of Hyrule. It helped reinvigorate The Legend of Zelda in a way that fans had only dreamt of, easily propelling it to the number one spot on our list and in our hearts. You must save her, my daughter. Did we miss anything on our list? Let us know in the comments, and for more of the best games to play, check out our top 25 list for Xbox One and PS4. Until next time, stick with us right here at IGN.